Good morning, Ozark Radio Network News Director Cody Sanders here alongside is Dr. Lori Wilson, Superintendent of West Plains Schools. We are here this morning to talk a little bit about yesterday's announcement and what that means. Yesterday's announcement was beginning this next week, students from 7th through 12th grade will not be in session. They will return the following week and at that time they will begin a modified learning model. So let's just jump right in and talk about what that means. Dr. Wilson, uh, again, so 7 through 12 will not be in session next week following Labor Day. They will return to the building in a modified situation. So explain exactly what this all means. Okay, well, I think as everybody knows, we've had a pretty big uptick in cases, um, COVID cases in our county. And so that has been pretty detrimental to our student population um, as the number of students have had to quarantine. So what we're looking at is coming back on September 14th with approximately half of our student body in class at any given point. Currently, we have approximately 40% of our student body that is either in online or in virtual classes. With the students that are on these platforms, it has allowed us to uh, really look at the possibility of social distancing in the classroom. So what the goal is, is that half of our student body would come back on Monday and Wednesday. The other half would come back on Tuesday and Thursday, while the ones that are on Monday and Wednesday stay home. And then on Friday would be a day that we would have, uh, our teachers would have office hours for, for our students. Um, right now we're working on where that cut is or which days that the students would come into. Uh, we're gonna look at alphabetic as well as geographic. So uh, on the September 8th, I believe on Monday, we're gonna announce um, what those what that, that those cut are, the cuts are for that. So don't blow up the school phone lines yet. No, wait, please don't. Wait until don't. next week and, and get some information out to the parents and, and that kind of thing. Yes, because what we what we plan on one day, then someone else comes in and says, well, have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? And so we want to make sure that, that we, are, we are really trying to uh, think about everything before we make that final cut. We talked about this a little bit yesterday. This was not an easy decision no. to make. Talk about the, uh, the process of coming to this point. Uh, it really, as you said, was not an easy decision to make. Um, when you see how many students are quarantined at a, any one day, you know, we had four, five, six throughout the district, I can't think of the exact numbers of positive cases, and how at the middle school and the junior and the high school, how one positive case can affect uh, so many students that are going to be on quarantine. And we knew exactly based on our seating charts. Uh, who would have to be quarantined at any given point depending on where they were sit sitting. So uh, I'm very proud of our teachers for, for doing that. But it was a hard decision because we know we're affecting lives. Uh, we know we're affecting home lives. But I'll tell you that the main goal is to keep our kids here in school safe, give them some type of teacher, inter teacher interaction on a weekly basis. would love to if we could do it on a daily basis, but we know that we can't. There are, you know, our, some of our students' biggest fear was, I'm going to come back to school after 14 days of quarantine. I'm going to then be, possibly have to go home again for another 14. Sure. So uh, the, the goal is to really try to social distance now that we have some numbers that are smaller in our buildings. So just to kind of recap what this all means, beginning next week, pre-K through the sixth uh, through fifth grade, nothing changes. Uh, it's sixth grade. Um, oh, I'm sorry, yes, you're right, through grade. sixth grade. Pre-K through sixth grade, nothing changes. Right. It is as normal. Yes. Seventh through twelfth will be out of session next week. Right. And then beginning on the 14th is when this modified group A and group yes. B goes into effect. And the school will be distributing information next week on whose kids are in group A and whose kids are yes. in group B. Yes. Anything else that we need to know about right now? No, I just ask for patience. Um, as for knowing you know, the, that the parents in our community realize we are really, really, really trying to keep our students in school um, and, and to keep them safe. And we are learning as we go. And um, I, I, the goal, I mean, we, we want, we're, we're, we fully intend that our students will be on this model through the first semester. So we don't want any back and forth. Um, and so that's why we're asking those that have gone online that they remain online because if those students are out of our school, it allows us to, or they're not in, the, they're not in our buildings, it allows us to do some, some social distance. But we are 
doing this model through the first semester, and then after that we will look at if there is anything to be see, changed. Yes. See what needs to go next. And again, this is a kind of a day by day basis, and yes. things change hourly mm -hmm. sometimes. So uh, West Plains Schools has these students and these parents and staff and faculty, everybody's safety as the chief concern. So Absolutely. we uh, will just take it, like we said, day by day. And if uh, we have any other updates to pass along, you can get those right here on Ozark Radio News. So for Dr. Lori Wilson, Superintendent of West Plains Schools, I'm Cody Sanders.